sorry I told you that that baby wasn't mom's, man. Man, man, I ain't no way I should have had you over there in the house. Da, 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 da. But he was only saying that because it was either Sherelle gonna come over here with your son or you gonna get the fuck out. And then this whole point, y'all, this whole time, I'm thinking this nigga was staying with his baby mama. The whole time he right up the street. I'm in the trap house. He right up the street at his cousin's house. Where they got lights, water, gas, Wi-Fi, TV, Playstations. They got a bathroom. They got a bathtub. They got soap. They got napkins. They got vacuum cleaners. You know what I'm saying? A real functioning household. He was right up the street. So um, I was just like, yeah, I mean, you cool. Like, it, it happens. You know what I'm saying? The only person I ain't, I ain't had to experience this with about um, them wondering whether or not the child belonged to them was Jaylee's father. Point period blank. So... Uh, he was just like, bro, you got to forgive me. You got to forgive me. I was like, yeah, I don't have to. And I'd really rather just go to sleep. So Kat was like, yes, yeah, Stevie, you got to go. So he ended up leaving. You know, I discharged out of the hospital two days later. And instead of me going back to the trap house, Kat was like, yeah, no, you're not going back over there. Because you're not taking my godson over there. Which is really, her godson is really her nephew because she married Sebastian's uncle. Which is, the, yeah, there we go. So I ended up moving into the house with them. Now, they got a house where they have everything upstairs. And then when you go downstairs, you got a new living room. You got a whole other room. You got the kitchen, you got all of that. So she was like, you'll be down here in this room. Here's the living room. You got TV. You got everything you need. Wash and dry. All of this. It's for you to stay here as long as you need to, right? So um, I was just like, okay, you know, of course, like the first, what, four to six weeks, I was just chilling at the house. You know what I'm saying? I was chilling at the house. Stephen was still there because his baby mama was, I think she was still more so surprise like oh you went and had a whole another baby on me you went and had a whole another baby on me okay the baby is here there's nothing you can do about it so while i was doing that it came time for me to start back working so of course i was just gonna go back to sonic right the ppp ppp had not come around ppp was two years ago my son is four now thank you y'all want me to talk about you so bad bro this is my story let me tell it let me tell it thank you Mm -hmm. So, when I get up, I go back to work, I'm doing my thing, it's time for Sebastian to come home. When Sebastian come home, he functions just like a normal baby. Wait, so the previous girl baby mama didn't know about you until after the fact. Bing bong, you got it. So, when Sebastian comes home, he functions like a normal baby. I would bathe him, I would, you know, do everything for a kid. Cat would come downstairs, get him, would just like, get you some rest, da 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 And of course, it rolled around to the point of... Steven still wanted to deal with me, but he also wanted to deal with the other women that he was dealing with in the street. But at this point, I can only really say his baby mom. So I ended up getting into an argument with Steven one day, right? I'm holding my baby. I'm standing on the stairs. I'm minding my business. As I'm holding my baby, he angered and nigga pushed me down the stairs with my son in my head. So I'm like, what the fuck? So we argued, we this, we that. And I ended up going back into the room. You know what I'm saying? I went back into the room. I sat Steven. What, bro? You just be wanting to do stuff when I get on the camera. Oh, Lord. So, I sit, sit, uh, Steven. I sit Sebastian on the bed and I come back out. As I'm coming back out, this nigga all up in my face, calling me all types of O's and itches and worthless pieces of it, this, that, that, and the third, right? So, while you sitting there, you talking all this crap, I just gave birth to your son six weeks ago, four to six weeks ago. I'm pissed off. I'm angry because why is it the fact that I just gave birth to your child and I'm not enough? When you need something, you calling me. When you want to be picked up from work, dropped off from work, when you need this, when you need that, you you calling me. You know what I'm saying? Every time something goes wrong, let me call Sherelle. I need gas money. Sure, I'm home. Sherelle, I need this. Sherelle, I need weed. Sherelle, I need a haircut. Sherelle, da 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 But you can never run to these other women. Can you please put that down and stop? What are you doing? There's something in there. Can you find something productive to do rather than antagonize me while I'm on the camera? Thank you. So... While all of this is going down, I ended up cocking my hand back and smacking cup. So when I smacked him, it wasn't no smack out of, oh, you won't listen to me or oh, da 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 da, or no control mechanism. It's, I'm tired of you antagonizing me. I'm tired of you treating me like I'm worthless. I'm tired of you putting other people before me. You can't run to those same other people before me to act. You know what I'm saying? It was more like an anger slap. So when I did that, Cud turned back around. It was some full fledged boom, 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 boom. Like some full fledged, we going down through them. So while Stacy and Kat upstairs and they hear all the all the rumbling and tumbling, he come down. He was like, bro, what the fuck is going on? My bad, go in the room so I can tell the story. Get your phone, find you something to do with this. So he said, right, <laughs> no, I don't love smacking. People just be testing me. Like, you push me to a corner, right? I'm in this corner. You right here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna find my way up out that corner. That's what I'm gonna do. Point here blank every time. So I'm sitting here. 
And uh, Stacy them come down. They like, man, what the fuck's going on down here? What's going on down here? He said, oh, man, this bitch over here, this, this itch over here doing that. Boom, boom, boom. He was like, man, what are you talking about? You down here punching on this girl because she won't give you gas money? Because she won't do this? She won't do that? What about the other hoe you be with at the stove? So when he said that, I'm like, the other hoe you be with at the stove? The other hoe you be with at the stove, right? So Kat come down. She gets C back. She take him up to her room. She put him in the bed. She closed the door. By this time, Steven went outside. We outside out here. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. Ah! Like all types of crazy shit. Punching on cars and shit. Man, y'all go over there. Y'all want to take that one. Y'all want to put it in front of me. Da -da -da. I'm y'all family. That hoe ain't y'all. Like she, he going crazy. And so Kat steps in. She like, what you talking about? It ain't about you being family. You're grown ass over here hitting on that young ass girl because you mad that she won't give you $20. Take your lazy ass to work. So I'm sitting back. I'm at the door because I ain't going outside. This ain't the time when my fingers get cut. So I ain't going outside. I'm chilling, right? So they out there, they going at it. Steven just, <gasps> like just banging on shit like he's some big silverback gorilla or something. And I'm sitting here like, oh my God, bro. Like I did not, like I did not expect for any of this to happen. Like, bro, just calm down. I'll give you the $20. It's nothing. Like, it's nothing. It ain't like my son needs it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, all that dies down, right? Steven, he cools off wherever he goes for a couple of days and he comes back. When he comes back, we get into another argument. But then this time when we get into an argument, I take it outside. I say, you know what? We're not going to do it in this small, compacted area. Because at this point, I need to be able to, uh, uh, I need to be able to extend my arms. Six, three or not, my mother's going to have to climb that tree. Swear to God. So while we sit here, we're going back and forth. Do, 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 right? I was like, all right, bet. You want to play this game? Let's do it. So I go into the kitchen. I go into the kitchen, y'all. I grab the sharpest thing I see and I put it in my pocket. I said, you want to do it? Meet me outside. On my mom, I swear to God, I had it on my mind. From here to here, this man was going to have a permanent smile. I swear to God. So, $20. So, when we go outside, there's like this covering that you go. So, basically, you walk in the covering that will cover you from rain. Then, boom, you have the door. You go into the door. You in the house. Right? So, when he go outside, I go out behind him. I close the door. I was like, so, what's up? You been trying to beatbox on my ass in the house and shit. So, let's do it out here. So when we out here, first things first, I smack them. I'ma go ahead and initiate it. Cause at this point, you like fighting me? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and so I smack them. So when I smack them, instead of him oh, like punching me like he usually does because I'm in the covering, he reached in and grabbed me and bear like bear hug, squeezed me, but body slammed me. But this was so stupid, I don't know why I did it. While he doing this, I was able to like, you know, get my hand in here. Cause I swear to God, had I grabbed that bitch at the right end. I literally, literally would have ten buck to that man. Look, so while he doing all of that, I'm reaching in a pocket, and I I knew I made the mistake because when I grabbed it, I felt them over to pierce my hand, and I pulled it out on this end. And when I pulled it out, he body slammed me on the ground, and what went and slid up just like that. And like my adrenaline was running so bad, it was running so bad, I was able to just jump up, like I jumped up, nice still on the ground, blood leaking and all of that. At this point, I'm open here and smack. Boom. Boom. Like, I'm just going crazy. He's like, man, stop. Stop. And I'm like, no, you want to fight, bitch? You want to fight? Like, I'm doing all of this. So in the midst of us fighting outside, Stacy pull up. He's talking about, man, fuck this, bro. I'm sick and tired of you putting your hands on this one. Like, he done stripped out of his, I think it was a work uniform or something. He's like, I'm sick and tired of you putting your hands on this girl. I'm sick and tired of And like, so they outside, they doing it. Do, do, boom, boom. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever, whatever, right? So this whole time, while they fighting, I didn't took off walking down the street because now my adrenaline is settling, right? My hands is bleeding. And so it's like, okay, all right, Sherelle, <laughs> you ain't fucking Hercules, bro. You're going to fucking die. So in that same breath, I go and I walk up the street and I sit down on the curb and I'm like, bro, I just want to go to the hospital. Like at this point, I'm wheezing, I'm wheezing. So then after they doing whatever they doing, keep me them. I kid you not. School bus pull up, keep me them, jump out of there. And they're like, Sherelle, oh my God, what happened? I was like, can I just get your phone, please? Can I please get your phone? And I called my mom. This is my biological mom who lived in Longview at the time. So I hit her, I was like, hey, mom, listen. Um, my hands is cut up, can you please come? Like, I'm out of it. Can you please come take me to the hospital? She's like, baby, where you at? Where you at? I was like, mom, I'm, I'm at Cass House on Jean. She was like, I'm on my way. So she ended up, it ended up taking her like 30 minutes, but she ended up coming. My sister, Destiny, she got out the car. She was like, Sherelle, your hand. And I'm like, I know. 
I know, bro. Like, I'm already light headed. Please stop yelling. Let's let, let's go to the hospital. So we get to the hospital and everything. Of course, they give me an IV to replenish and uh, what is it to stop making me feel woozy or lightheaded or whatever the case was. And they uh they were like, well, it's not deep enough for stitches, but they put like some glue, skin glue or whatever to like put the skin back together. And then they ended up wrapping it up each one of them. And it was like, so what happened? Of course, I didn't say anything. Now, in the mix of all of this happening, I did not know the people next door had already called the police, right? Is he the one that you met at Sonic? Yes. I did not know that these people had called the police. So when I got out of the hospital and my mom dropped me back off, I seen the police, well, drop me back off, but pull back up to drop me off. I seen the police out there, right? So I told my mom, I was like, hey, I'm going to just go to y'all house. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know what the hell was going on. I knew for a fact I had warrants out there, but it wasn't because it was for tickets and probably some other that shit. I don't fucking know, right? So I was like, I'm going to just go to your house. My mom come back over here later. So we keep going. You know what I'm saying? We keep going. The police have no reason to pull my mom over because they, like, my mom, Kat and them don't know that my mom drives a Mercedes. Stacey and them don't know that my mom drives a Mercedes. All they know is Sherelle called somebody, she jumped in the car, and they gone. You know what I'm saying? And of course, they wasn't going to tell the police. So boom, Kat ended up writing me. She was like, hey, babe, where you at? And I was like, I'm at my mom's. I noticed that the police was out there. Everything cool, everything calm. She was like, yeah, 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 you can come on back. Now, she didn't know that the police was going to come back. So one morning, I got up. I told Destiny, and I was like, hey, y'all, I'm about to leave. I'm going to go and walk back over here, which the walk was about 30, maybe 45 minutes. Now, it was mad early when I got up. So when I went over there, went back to Kat's house, I pulled on my car door handle because it was still in the uh, the parking thing. But the reason I didn't take my car before y'all asked is because I left all of my stuff in the house. So it wasn't no running in the house trying to get my key and my phone and then going to the hospital. No, adrenaline rushing. I'm mad. I'm angry. Let me just call somebody. So anyways, I pulled on my door handle. Thank the Lord it was unlocked. I get in the car because it's early. I don't want to knock on the door and tell them to open it because my keys and stuff in the house. So I get in the car. I lean the seat back. When I lean the seat back, I drift off to sleep. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I hear the radio. I hear a radio and I'm like, oh my God. Like my heart start beating fast. It's the police, right? So instead of me looking up, because I didn't know if they were at the car, beside the car, whatever, I ended up turning over like sideways and I lifted my head up and I seen it was two officers. Now, when I seen the two officers, one of them walked past the car, but I still went back. So I can see when they walk past, but you got to come over and like look in the car in order to see me. So, oh, so when um, the officer, one of the officers walked up, they knocked on the door. Cat comes to the door. She talks to him, da 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 And they start asking about the blood that they seen on the concrete. Um, the knife was still outside. It still had my blood on it, all of that. And he was like, well, yeah, we, um, we're just going to take some pictures. If she comes back or whatever, Um, yeah, you know, have her call us or let us know and we'll come out here. Whatever. I didn't know that they were looking for me to arrest me because they thought I was trying to assault. You know what I'm saying? I was. Like, I was literally going to put the man six feet under. What you're not going to do is keep playing with my emotions and then when I react, you want to tell the world I'm delusional. No. At stand on what you did, stand on the way you handled me, and then say she was justified for her reactions because of the shit that I put her through. That's what you say. So, anyways, push on the shove, I ended up, uh, Get out of the car. When the police all jumped, when they jumped in their car and they left, I get out the car and I go to the door. I knock on the door. Cat opens it. She's like, baby, where you been? I was like, I was still at my mom's house from when we first talked. She was like, yeah, come in. The police that came in here, they just searched the room and all of that. When I went down there, everything was a complete mess. And so it'll never happen that way. Exactly. So with everything being a complete mess, of course, my first thing is with my little patched up fingers is to try to reorganize all of my baby stuff, all of my stuff. Just get everything cleaned up. So, all of this transpired, right? We're Steven. We don't fucking know. He probably back at his baby mama's. He might be down the street at the trap house. Who knows, right? So, Cat was just like, Sebastian's good. Whatever you need to do, just handle it. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. Kid you not. Wasn't even fucking 12 hours later. Police was there. I was being arrested, right? So, I go to jail. When I go to jail, I'm in jail. The only person I know that I can call, at least to check on my child, um... So you intend to stab dude because he was emotionally abusive? Oh.